Hey folks, I know it's been a, a little bit since I made a video, so I figured I'd make this one a good one. So today we're working on a Kawasaki and we're going to do something really special. Stay tuned. All right, folks, so like I said in the intro, we're gonna work on something really cool. We're gonna work on this. This is a power lift for the bed of your Kawasaki mule. I know this is one of the number one complaints that folks have that they spend so much money on these machines and it's a manual dump bed. Well, today we're gonna to convert this into a power dump bed. This is a factory bolt on um, option for these Kawasaki mules. So let's see how it installs. Let's see how quick it installs. All right, so we're gonna review this, what it all comes with. Um, obviously it comes with the cylinder itself, it comes with zip ties, the wiring harness, which seems to be completely plug and play. We'll open this up real quick. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Got everything you need. So that's, that's, that's pretty cool. We'll take that. All the brackets. I'm guessing these are the nuts and bolts for the bracket. Plate has been dropped. This is also the same plate you need to drop when you do your oil changes or else you get oil everywhere. All right, here you guys go, skid plate. This is the front of the skid plate, that's the back of the skid plate. Somewhere in here is, they, they've already got the, the cutout for you. We'll have to cut this out, we'll get the Dremel out, and we'll cut that out, and that'll be the piece that we gotta cut out so that we can mount the um, So yeah, instead of using the Dremel, I went ahead and I thought I'd just go ahead and use the jigsaw, It'd be a lot quicker, um, probably a lot less mess. So we'll just get this piece cut out real quick. the most straight perfect cut in the world but we just need to make room for this bracket that we're putting on the bottom there to fit so pretty simple Let's go ahead and jump a little bit more just want to make sure i got it on that line that way there's plenty of room Cut in the world, guys, but you can see it's what you need to do. Just got to cut out that section. All right, we'll go on the next steps here. All right, guys, so making things a little bit easier, we went ahead and we took the tire off um, and we cleaned this area up here to where we had to cut an oval into this uh, mud guard. That way, the cylinder can go through there and raise and lower the bed. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this cut out. Everything in the instructions is in metric, as you can tell by the lack of accent. Um, I, I don't speak metric. So went ahead and we calculated, it's 90 by 70 millimeter oval, which comes out to be about three and a half inches by two and three quarter inches. So what I did was, is I just got me a two and three quarter inch hole saw bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and mark one area Mark it, move it down to where it's three and a half inches, mark the other area, that should give me a perfect oval to where I can then cut a hole and then cut it out with my jigsaw. So we'll do that right now. It's 
So it did say in the instructions that there's gonna be about a two millimeter gap on either end and a five millimeter gap. So not, not a huge gap. So we're just gonna do our best here. So that should be close to our size that we need. We'll get a measuring tape and we'll measure real quick. All right, folks, measuring tape. Needs to be about three and a half inches. We're a little bit bigger than that. We'll come back a little bit. Go ahead and just mark this. So it's actually pretty good. We just gotta go ahead and for this mark here, we gotta come up a little bit. I'll just take one of these brackets that it gave us and I will make a straight line. And look at how things are right now, guys. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a Sawzall or a Jigsaw in there. So I think we're definitely gonna to have to bust out with the old uh, Dremel. All right, guys. Since we can't get a Sawzall in there um, and a Jigsaw, I went ahead and I'm just gonna get my drywall cutout tool and this should just go right around there really, really easily. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but I'm pretty sure it'll do what we need it to do. All right, so I think we got, now we got, I think now we have this mountain of brackets. So we'll go ahead and look at these first brackets. So these are the lower brackets. We'll open up our goodie bag here. Go ahead and install these bad boys. Okay, so the spacers, they go on the bottom part of the bracket, not the top.
Okay. Note to self when you're installing this, that brake line needs to go above the bolts. That's why they give you that extra brake line holder. That way it'll keep the brake line above the bolts. Actually, scratch that. <laughs> Do not put. I'll edit that part. Get the creeper back out, put these bottom bolts back in. You see why now you had to cut out this piece right here. This is the way this bracket hangs down. All right guys, we're mounting the top bracket now. We gotta go ahead and mark these seven holes and do pilot holes and then drill the real holes see what happens. Go ahead, I'll put this bracket up there, mark everything. Just remember that where the cylinder bolts in at, that is the front, so facing the front of the vehicle. We 
get the drill. We'll do probably a quarter inch hole to start with. Uh, maybe I'll do a 7.30 seconds just. I think I'm gonna go get me a punch and I'll punch these to start. If you guys don't have a spring-loaded punch, you definitely should get one. Spring-loaded punch. Now we're installing this um, right bracket onto here to, uh, I think it's just gonna give it extra support. But it goes like this. So doing that bottom hole is gonna be tricky, but we'll get it. Got my holes marked. Get my hand in any hole punch.
All right. Last bolt. Put a done stamp on this thing. Now we gotta do the wiring. All right, guys, as you can see, it's a dusty, dirty mess. I probably should power wash before I got into this, but we got all the, we got all the brackets installed. This one I haven't tightened up yet because we've got to you know, adjust it. The brackets are installed, right brackets installed, left brackets installed. We're good to go. It's all about doing the wiring now. All right, we're gonna put this in here so I know where I gotta run my wires. Go ahead and Get this into the clamp. The one on the bottom takes the longer pin. This wiring harness is going to run across the top here and mount the uh, relays right to here. And then a switch, it gets mounted over here. So the switch will actually be right here. All right guys, so I can disconnect the switch. What I did was simply is I mark these wires one dash for one dash, two dash for two dash, so I know exactly what order they go into. And I marked them on this side of the switch, so I know that goes on that side of the switch. I'm gonna disconnect these so I can measure this and make a hole over here so I can put the switch in. So I'll disconnect those now. All right, they're disconnected. Now I can go over here and make a hole for this switch. So now that we can, or maybe I'll put the switch right here. That way it doesn't get in the way of anybody's. Right, so I'm probably gonna put the switch right here. That way when the door's shut, it's covered up. That way, you know, little fingers and whatnot. Don't try to up lower in <laughs> the uh, dump bed as you're going down the road. So I'll just put it in right here.
All right, there's the marking for the switch. And this is pretty thin plastic, so I'll just get a knife and I'll just cut that out with a knife. There we go. Switch is installed. We'll get it hooked back up here. these relays right there and then this will plug into there and we'll be good to go all right guys now we're going to mount these um, relays the side of the box run these wires across here strap them all down excuse me plug in these wires into the ground and the positive and we should be done All right, there's this, this red wire right here plugs into this brown wire out of this harness. So let's find the brown one, which is right here. Okay, that's plugged in.
I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little hole right here. And this hole is where we'll run the rest of this harness through there. The hole is just right there. So we'll take the battery box off, which is fairly simple. Two clips. This clip and this clip is right here and right here. Take the battery box off. We'll go ahead and take the air cleaner off. That way it gives us just a little bit more room to work. Just four clips. The air cleaner comes off. As you can see, wire ran right through there, no problem. And what we're gonna do now is, is we have the negative right here that we're gonna disconnect. And we'll hook this negative up on that pole. And then we'll hook the positive up on the positive pole and this thing will be all wired up. All right guys, I think we finished up all the wiring. Now we're going to just extend the, the piston, uh, hook everything up and make sure it's all adjusted properly before we tighten the bottom bracket and we'll be good to go. So here we go in the last bit of little piece. These cotter pins right apart.
There we go. I think we have officially a dump bed. Now that I think this thing is set where it needs to sit, I'm gonna go down here now and I'll tighten these bolts up. And then we'll actually put a dun stamp on this. Tighten these last little bolts up. Pretty freaking cool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this back on. Well, that wraps this up. Uh, this is a, just a recap. This is a 2021 Kawasaki Mule. Um, it did not come with the lift cylinder. This is the factory bolt-on lift cylinder. 
um, I went ahead and made this video available to you guys because I couldn't find one anywhere. I couldn't find any how-tos, I couldn't find anyone else has installed them. So I figured it'd be a good treat if I went ahead and walked you through the whole thing of me installing it. And I've done it, done it before, so this is, uh, it was pretty simple. Um, everything was, is already laid out for you. The instructions are absolutely horrendous, so good luck with that. So hopefully this video helps you out. But that's a wrap. I guess until next time, we'll see you all later.